out and ate dinner with my wife, came home, kids came over to talk, and that evening I had us sitting in the living room, basically I had a seizure. I got up, my right jaw locked up, so I got up to get a glass of water to unlock my jaw, went to the kitchen, got out a glass of water, and Justin swung around and said, how are you feeling, Dad? I said, fine. He says, no, you're not. So uh, called 911. Inside the ambulance, I uh, had another seizure, and I, I'm, I'm seeing all this, so I'm not out. There's no convulsions, it's just I can't speak. The presence of God was in that stretcher. And I rolled over. I may not get this to help. Basically said, Lord, I don't know what's going on, but you do. And I said, whatever it is, I'll do whatever you want. But I said, I'm not a bold person. I don't do that. <laughs> Witnessing is not really, that takes a lot of boldness, and I did not say, so if you want me to do any of this, you're gonna have to fill this guy with a lot of boldness. I will be very honest with you, within 20 seconds, I had that boldness. Sat there and talked to the tech, told him how I felt about Jesus Christ, right there, talked to, by the time we got to the hospital, they were, working on me, sat down with another nurse, leaned over and talked with him. And it was from that point forward, God opened more doors for me, not for me, for him to use me to talk about Jesus Christ to everyone he turned me a corner to. And I can tell you there's a lot of corners I turned. But my life had changed because I need to go back a little bit. We attend Lou and Arlene Hall's Sunday school class here at the church. And Lou asked me if he'd, I'd step in on him and do one of his classes on August 1st. So I said, yeah, I can do that. So my wife and I were in, on vacation. I'm trying to work through, Lord, what am I going to talk about in that Sunday school class? And I couldn't get anything out. I talked to my wife. I said, you know, the biggest thing that's on my heart is, what do you do when you retire? So I went through the scriptures for about two weeks, and that's the only thing God laid on my heart to that in that Sunday school class. There's nothing in scripture that says you retire. Nothing. Not at all. We may do that because it's our society, and we do travel, and we do those things, but for his service, you don't retire. So when this happened, I'm ready to retire, right? Here you go, down the road, I'm gonna go travel, and take my wife, and go do things we haven't done before. Well, that changed that day. I took a right-hand turn and my life changed. And it has been. So, I can honestly say I'm not angry. I have actually felt relieved in many ways. And when God opened doors for me to talk to people, and I've talked with, golly, surgeons, prayed with their staff, nurse practitioners and prayed with them. There's been other people, there's been people that have talked with me that have never talked to anybody else before. When you, I finish talking with them or making a comment or making a smile or just saying hello over the day, I had an openness. It was like, take the best sunrise or the best part of your day that you like, and the sun's shining bright and the flowers are growing. That's what filled my heart the immediate time I stopped talking. It was a flowery blossom that was there to give me from God himself. It says, thank you. It was so refreshing and so filled with joy. My prognosis, prognosis is not great. I'm getting better, but I don't know. And I'll be honest with you, going home to glory is a really exciting opportunity.